Now, hopefully by now, you understand what America was doing the whole time. Joe Biden just admitted to basically blowing up Nord Stream 1 and 2. Which means, Amer obviously, America has been behind this the whole time. And I said it before, why would America stop selling oil? It's one of the biggest things that they produce between that and food. America is a giant oil producer. One of the biggest oil producers in the world. And America runs the world. So why would America give up its power to this ideology of the Great Reset? Where Europe, through Germany, proposed limiting America's power so that the world, so that the dollar wasn't the global reserve currency. But instead it would be a basket of currencies. And I don't know why people would think that America would fall for that. Why would you... If you already control everything, why would you give up that power to a, a body? That would make sense. And so America goads Russia into a war with Ukraine. All of, And Trump obviously knew. Trump very much involved in what was going on. And two, it was, I think it was in 2017, Trump said America will never be part of of a globalist unionization of states. The truth is plain to see. If you want freedom, take pride in your country. If you want democracy, hold on to your sovereignty. And if you want peace, love your nation. Wise leaders always put the good of their own people and their own country first. The future does not belong to globalists. The future belongs to patriots. The future belongs to sovereign and independent nations who protect their citizens, respect their neighbors, and honor the differences that make each country special and unique. And it's in the same, it's in the same uh, video that everybody posts of Germany laughing at Trump about when Trump said that, you know, that Russia would seize control of Germany because of the them depending upon the oil. Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy if it does not immediately change course. Here in the Western Hemisphere, we are committed to maintaining our independence from the encroachment of expansionist foreign powers. It has been the formal policy of our country since President Monroe that we reject the interference of foreign nations in this hemisphere and in our own affairs. Now, Russia didn't, Russia didn't start the war. Russia pushed back against what was going on in Ukraine. But the people who were overwhelmingly impacted was Europe, not Russia, not America, but Europe. And so as the European economy is plunging and then the people are like, well, we're going to stop buying with America saying you need to stop buying oil from Russia. And they start buying oil and natural gas in America. Fucking irony. And then America agrees to sell Europe natural gas and then oops our natural gas uh facility had an explosion and sorry we can't send you natural gas <laughs> causing the price of natural gas to spike and then america doubles down and triples down on the war in ukraine and who is overwhelmingly impacted europe not russia not america but europe and I often wondered why they would go this route, because it didn't make sense to sanction Russia. Russia was prepared to be sanctioned. There's like that like that meme from the Dark Knight, you know, with uh I forgot the dude's name, uh Bane, where he was like, You merely adopted the darkness, I lived in the darkness. That's fucking Russia. Russia grew up in sanctions. They've so sanctions wouldn't have done anything. And they knew it, and Joe Biden admitted to it. 
when they were like, well, how's it going to work? You know, what's going to happen you know, when they questioned him about the sanctions? And then he was like, yeah, you know, give it 30 days and we'll see what happens. And then he comes out and says, well, yeah, sanctions aren't going to do anything. And so the reporters are like sitting there scratching their head. Well, then what, what the hell's the point of sanctioning Russia? Because they were going after Europe, not Russia. Anyway, Joe Biden recently just admitted it. He just admitted that uh, there was a, he had stated that if Russia invades and, you know, that then they won't have, uh, what was it called, uh, Nord Stream 1 and 2. And Nord Stream 1 and 2 just went down. There was an explosion. Oh, I wonder who did that. I wonder who. Let me answer the first question for us. If Germany, if, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. But do, but how, will you, how will you do that exactly since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will, uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it.